All right, we're going to look at adding fractions with like denominators uh, when mixed numbers are involved. So this adds a little bit to the difficulty of the problem. Again, the first thing we want to look for is make sure that you do have like denominators. Uh, and the first step is going to be to add the fractions together. So I'm going to rewrite 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. I'm kind of grouping them together. And we know that when you do this, you will put 1 plus 1 over 4, which is then equal to 2 fourths. And of course, you always want to simplify. Noticing quickly that the common factor is 2, I will divide the numerator and denominator by 2. And that will give me 1 half. Don't forget about those whole numbers, though. We still have 1 whole plus 2 whole. So I'm going to add those. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Now I can write my mixed number as my answer. And remember, a mixed number is just an expression of a whole number plus its fraction part. So I have 3 and 1 half would be the answer. If I look at an actual model of this, We can look at these shapes and notice that there are shapes divided into four equal pieces. The first one has one whole and one out of four pieces. Okay, that is one and one fourth. Then the second one has two whole parts, one square here, one square here, and one out of four pieces left. When we add these together, we can count how many whole numbers we have. By circling them, here's 1, here's 2, and here's 3. Three whole numbers. And if we combine the fractions, we can put this red piece up in this pan. And you can see now that we have 3 and 2 fourths. Again, if you're adding it, you can add the fractions, which would be 2 fourths and the whole numbers, which would be 3. Now you want to simplify. And I can easily see that 2 fourths takes up exactly half of this shape. So if I divide it into two equal pieces, 1, 2, only one of them is completely filled in. So I would say that I have 1, 2, 3, and 1 half 